this is something that nobody ever did before and told the story about these. And, and now I think it's, it's a good time to do it. So, you want X away. All right, Kit. Well, <clears throat> really cool getting to see this part of the history. Learning about the cans before there was a billion colors, yeah, bi billion hues and, and shit, and, right, and, and all the caps and stuff that come pre-packaged with the different yeah, types of was, fats it, and skinnies, ultra fats, ultra skinnies. It, you got it, all it, these insane it's, it's crazy. tips. It's crazy. It's just so much easier for the for the writer or graffiti artist, whatever you want to call them, to just go on and look at a chart and say, um, <laughs> I want this color, this color, and this color. And actually pull money out of his pocket and pay for it. We didn't. We didn't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was unheard of. I mean, if you told me back in the day, I'm going to go to the store and buy some paint so I can go peace on the train, you would have been called a toy. You know, we didn't pay for paint. We didn't pay for paint. We didn't pay for the trains. There was really hardly anything we really paid for. I mean, I went out of my house with two dollars. I came back home with two dollars. <laughs> I ate. I drank. I racked. And I had a good time. So uh, this is what this is about, man. All these cans right here. So um, you can question me about what can this, that, whatever. All right. So tell me about the pound can first, Kit. I'm, I'm interested to know what what, what is a pound can. A pound can is um, Rustolium made it. I think the Rustle made a pound can too. Now um, we would run across them from time to time. They, there was something like it wasn't really easy to find. They were in the regular stores. There was sometimes you would find them. Um, they, we had a boat store we would get them in, you know, and you get lucky if you if you find them in. This right here, this is a Cascade Green pound can. And um, it carried more paint in it. And uh, the regular cans are 13 ounces. So when we got this, we were we were, we were happy as hell, man. These were good and they spread, especially with Stolium. With Stolium, they spread a lot, man. You can, I, I used to get the blue aluminums. And the green aluminums, and we would do pieces on the D train with them, and they would spread. I was able to get like twelve tropes out of a pound can of the blue or green aluminum. The reason why we used the blue or green is because we were going on silver aluminum, and it, and when you do a trope on silver aluminum, it looked like you just see an outline. So when you use the green aluminum or blue aluminum, you would actually see the piece better, and that's that's why we use that in the pound can. They mostly came in pound. I think the blue aluminum and, and the green aluminum. I think they all came in pound. If I'm correct, and um, that's what the pound can was about. We really, really loved it when we got those, man. It was like we hit a little jackpot, you know, <laughs> like and, um, Christmas. Christmas year. This was also another rare can to find. Sandalwood tan. They were in regular stores, you know, um, like the mom and pop stores. You wouldn't find them in. We used to get these. We had a boat store. I believe it was either Nervous Shell or White Plains. We would find a lot of these sandalwood tans. And, um, we were also happy when we got these two because it wasn't like a common color like the rest of them, like the red, the greens, and um, the dunes tan was actually a common color also. It was similar to this but lighter. And, uh, where where did you rack most of your paint, Kit? Like we, where where would you say you stole the most paint from? We racked, I mean, all over. I mean, we went. I mean, I had this writer, you know, just talk a lot of cock about me not going into neighborhoods when I was piecing this and that. I went into neighbor I went into plenty of neighbors. I went in there to rack. That's where we went. We went I went to Brooklyn racking. I was in Queens racking, Long Island racking, New Jersey racking, Westchester racking, Staten Island racking. We would take the boat over there. We went in all those neighborhoods. You good or bad, didn't matter. But most of the bad neighborhoods and the the the, 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 the spots were hot anyway, you know? But we wrapped in all different neighborhoods. What we would do is sometimes <clears throat> we would take a train. And we would go, like we would say, into Queens. We would take a train. It was a leather train. We'd go into Queens and we would look down. And as we're going, if we seen a hardware store or we seen a Woolworths or something, we would get off that stop. And we would go down and try to rack up. That's how we would find stores. If we seen them, as, as we're going by, we would go down and try to rack. And uh, we, we accumulated a lot of stores, so we would, you know, we would go to certain stores. One day, we had different spots all the time. It wasn't one place we hit hard, because if you hit one place hard, you made it hot, you weren't going back there. So we tried to accumulate as many spots as we can to rack. Spread so we, it out. Spread it out so we 
we don't keep it, we don't get it hot, you know, and we also wouldn't tell nobody, we couldn't tell nobody about the stores, because if you did, they were going in there with an army of guys, and once that happens, you're fucked, you ain't going back there, you know, because the guy's going to know all this shit, he's going to look at his fucking, his, his rack is all empty, saying what the fuck is going on, you know, but we didn't do that either, you know, I mean, we hit stores, but we didn't clean them out like, like, a, like 50 cans of shot. You know, we would take 10, 15 cans sometimes. We have because we had so many stores accumulated, we can we can get that 50 throughout four or five stores, and that's how we did it. You know. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, I mean, we had I mean, even in Queens, Steinway, Steinway Street, we had a Woolworths there, we had a Genovese there, we had a, a couple of little mom and pop stores there. We would hit those stores too. So we we had a whole bunch of stores built up, like and um, Westchester, Cross County, White Plains. Scarsdale, you know, I mean, Staten Island, the boat, we would take a, we would take a train to the South Ferry, we would take a boat, and then we would take a bus. That's how we, we didn't have cars at the time. You know, we weren't those guys later on that had their cars, they were to go drive all here and there and fill up their trunks. It was a lot easier to ride like that. We were always on the, we was always on the trains or the buses. That's how we would get around the rack up. It was a little bit harder for us. But later on, some guys, you know, they, they, they started later on, they would, they would fill up their trunks because it was easy for them to drive like up in Westchester, deep into Westchester with nobody knowing nothing about stealing or racking, and they could rack there. So it was easier for them. And that's, the, that's what we would do as far as, you know, going to racking spots. That was it. And that's the one, Marvin. That's the silver tuna. <laughs>